For at TV, the world is thinking. While Surgeon General, I also spent a considerable amount of time trying to foster the concept of health diplomacy. We're a nation at war. Simple force projection that we're most powerful doesn't get you most places. You can't force people to, into a democracy. You can't force people to look at your views just because you're the strongest guy. But one of the powers that we have in this nation that remains significantly unleveraged is the power, power of what I call health diplomacy, doing some of the things that we do best. Now, mind you, I was a soldier in combat. I understand. I was wounded. I lost friends in battle. I understand the inequities of war, and I understand sometimes you have to fight. What I'm saying is we have more power than that. And so as we export, as we project a softer force of humanitarianism, we've seen it work. When our U.S. Public Health Service, Peace Corps, USAID people, Navy, other services were sent to the tsunami victims in Indonesia, with countries where terrorism was rampant, and people didn't want us there. But after months, they didn't want us to leave because they saw the spirit of the true American. And we delivered health care to improve the health of those communities, water, sanitation, general public health. But in doing so, we changed the opinions of a country as to who we really are. And there was a trust regained when that happened. Health diplomacy is a huge adjunct to our foreign policy that needs to be leveraged much more strongly globally in order to eradicate the asymmetries that lead to terrorism. Differences in ideology, theology, economics. Once we're embedded there and they see how we are and they see we are just fellow humans who have a little bit better life at this time but we're willing to work with them, a lot of those asymmetries go away. When those asymmetries go away, there is no reason for divisiveness. It's a new playing field at that time. So I advocate strongly that this needs to be part of our foreign policy and leveraged even more than it has been because it's hardly used today.